Did you know that you have a right as a consumer? Welcome to Consumer Education and let's talk about consumer rights. Consumer Act of the Philippines These days, the phrase consumer rights is being circulated very openly. But what are the rights of the consumer? In this presentation, I will discuss the Consumer Rights under the Republic Act No. 7394, the consumer responsibilities, and the government agencies task to help the consumers. First, let us recognize what is the Republic Act No. 7394 all about and what are the consumer rights. Republic Act 7394, also known as the Consumer Act of the Philippines, declares that it is the policy of the state to protect the interests of the consumer and promote his general welfare and to establish standards of conduct for business and industry to implement measures to achieve, among others, the protection against deceptive, unfair, and unconscionable sales, acts, and practices. What are the basic rights of a consumer? As a consumer, you have the right to expect the marketplace to be fair. You also have the responsibility to be fair and deal with problems quickly. These are the eight consumer rights. Right to basic needs, right to safety, right to information, right to choose, right to representation, right to redress, right to consumer education, and right to healthy environment. First, the right to basic needs, which guarantees survival, adequate food, clothing, sanitation to everyone, health care, shelter, and education. These basic and prime commodities at affordable prices and good quality will also be available. For example, as a consumer, we may look forward to the availability to basic and prime commodities at affordable prices and of good quality. Right to safety. This protects consumer against marketing of hazardous goods and services. For example, consumers have a right to expect that the foods they purchase and consume will be safe and of high quality to avoid food poisoning. Another example is when buying Christmas lights, we have to look for a certification mark like PS mark or Philippine standard sticker and ICC mark or import commodity clearance sticker which serves as the consumer's guide and assurance that what we purchase are certified quality and safe products. Right to information. This protects consumers against dishonest or misleading advertising or labeling. It also provides the rights of facts and information to help the consumers make an informed choice. For example, when buying a specific product, know the reliable sources of information such as labels, manufacturer, or expiration date. Use this information to make decisions about where and what to purchase. Right to choose. This is the consumer's right to choose from various products and competitive prices with an assurance of good quality. For example, you can choose quality products of any variety from a wide range display, either you want the brand X, Y, or Z. Right to Representation This provides the consumer with the right to input consumer interest or concern in governmental policies. For example, if we have a concern about the product we purchased, we expect to have our concerns addressed by business and government. Right to redress. This provides the consumers with the right to compensate for misrepresentation of poor quality goods or unsatisfactory services. For example, if a consumer purchased a product like headset, then suddenly there is no sound after using few times from purchasing because it is defective. And once it is defective, your product evaluation would be unsatisfactory. 
So, you have the right to receive a fair settlement including compensation, either they will repair it, replace, or refund. If the store didn't acknowledge your concern, you can file a complaint to the government agency's task to help the consumers. Right to Consumer Education This is the consumer's right to obtain the necessary knowledge and skills to be an informed customer. To have access to the knowledge and skills necessary to be informed and to know the consumer rights to confidently choose goods and services while being aware of the fundamental consumer rights and responsibilities. Right to a healthy environment This is the consumer's right to live and work in an environment that is neither dangerous nor threatening to promote well-being. If we have consumer rights, we also have consumer responsibilities. The first one is the critical awareness, the responsibility to be more alert and questioning about the use of and the price and quality of goods and services we use. Second responsibility is action, the responsibility to assert ourselves and act to ensure that we get a fair deal. Remember that as long as we remain passive consumers, we will continue to be exploited. Third one is the social concern. The responsibility to be aware of the impact of our consumption on other citizens, especially the poor, exploited, disadvantaged, or powerless groups, whether in the local, national, or international community. The fourth is environmental awareness. The responsibility to understand the environmental consequences of our consumption. We should recognize our individual and social responsibility to conserve natural resources and protect the earth for future generations. Fifth is solidarity. The responsibility to organize together as consumers to develop the strength and influence to promote and protect our interests. Next are the government agencies tasked to help consumers.